Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy. I'm not going to say my name right now because I'm upset at my computer and the operating system, but that's okay. Let's not worry about that. Everything's going to work, and we're going to do this screencast. And what we're going to do is make Facebook better. Step one. You can do this with all the browsers. I'm going to show you Foxfire first. Step one. Step one is a little different. You're going to go to something called Grease Monkey Nightly. Just type that in your Google browser. And you're going to find a thing called Index of M I S C Z Z whatever. Okay. So that's going to be the most recent nightly release of Grease Monkey. The nightly or the other release that's on add-on, don't mess with that one. You're gonna get this one right here. Click that. It's gonna say blah blah blah, you allow, blah blah blah, you install, and then boom it'll be installed. I think it's already installed on here. No, I wouldn't be able to tell. Alright, so you install that, you're good to go. Now, let's test whether I have it installed or not. Next step, you go to betterfacebook.net. You're going to be going here a lot. You're going to go here for Google Chrome, you'll go here for Opera, you'll go here for Apple Safari, you'll go here for Mozilla, or in this case, Grease Monkey. I recommend using the Grease Monkey one because you won't have to restart the computer in order to use it. A thing will pop up for all of them. You press install or OK or whatever pops up, and then boom, it'll be installed. If you had done it the other way with Mozilla, where you click there, then it would have been an add-on, and then you would have to restart Mozilla. Alright, so you've done that. You've installed Better Facebook 5.0. 5.0 is the best one yet. Of course, it'll get better, but whatever. So, let's log into account. Okay. Now, log into your account. Yay. Wow, oh, that's a. That's going to change the rating of my video. Okay, so. Now you can go through the Better Facebook Setup Wizard. 10 steps. Step 1, next. Step 2, next. Step 3, next. Alright, step 4. You can set it up where every single application gets its own tab within the activity bar or activity space right here so you can set that or you can set that off it's up to you I don't use any of that stuff so mine's gonna be off next themes <clears throat> sorry I might have been loud themes so you can do the default theme you can do the desktop theme you can do a custom color you can do monochromatic now the rest of these themes aside from pink and green Monochromatic is a custom theme made by a person. Yay. There's also light sky. Ooh, I think I'm gonna use that one. And then there's a dark shiny gray. We'll we'll do that. And then of course there'll be more to come. You can also on the left side show my pages and apps and groups and stuff so it'd be easier to get to. I'll turn all that off. Now, they have a friend tracker which I'm going to turn off. And they also have friends activities, which I'm going to turn off. You can hide connect with friends, which is over there somewhere. Suggestions, you can hide that, hide that, hide that, hide, hide, hide. You can hide all that. Now, with Opera, you might want to turn show image preview hover on, which what it'll do, it'll pop an image up on the right. But with Chrome and Mozilla, they have a perfectly good photo zoom that works not only on Facebook, but pretty much everywhere else that does photos. So you can do that there. Recent activities, you can automatically remove recent activity stories. I think I'm going to leave it this time. And of course, go ahead and like them, like them, like them, because you'll see. And now, yeah, everything looks, hold on. All right, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Like I said, I was having computer problems. 
that wants to act funny because I'm trying to do a video tutorial. Alright, screw Fox Fire. Alright, we're gonna go to something else. Um, let's go to Opera. Always start with speed dial. Alright, so we're gonna do the same thing on Opera so I can show you the other steps that you might want to do. Alright, so as you can see, this is a little different now. This is all stretched and this is staying still and that is staying still. Ain't that, ain't that awesome? Look at that. Look at that. Alright, alright. So you go to options. You're gonna get this to pop up. Don't worry about what Foxfire did. It won't do that to you, I hope. So freeze the header and or left column. You just click those, boom. That's what that does. Stretch the Facebook layout. Press that. It's going to stretch the Facebook layout. Um, there's a whole bunch of other things, but I don't usually click any of that. So you can check it out for yourself. I'm just trying to save you a little bit of time. Next, you can left align the content column rather than have it centered. When you stretch it, it's going to stretch out anyway. But you also could not stretch it and then just have it be on the left side. Let's see. Force the main news feed to be most recent instead of top news. I don't know what makes Facebook so cocky as to say, oh, this is the top news. It's, it's, it's not. So I want to see the most recent. So now every time I come up here, boom, most recent, boom, most recent, boom, most recent. Reload automatically when mark all red is clicked. So it'll do that. Um, other than that, I don't usually click anything else. There's a whole bunch of other stuff you can read through if you want to. I'm just trying to save you some time again. Um, for some reason, my theme didn't carry on from last time. I want my light to sky. Once you do light sky, go ahead and save it. Click OK. Reload the page. Hmm, didn't work very well on here. Anyway, I blame my OS right now. Don't, don't worry about it. All right. <clears throat> Next. Before you do filter feed, which I had already done as you can see, you want to go ahead and do left panel and right panel if you need to do any more settings. Um, you can hide friends on the chat panel, which is this thing over here, which I think I'm going to do. Show friends recent activity chat when you offline. I'm go ahead and... Wait, no, I don't want to show that yet. You can auto expand the messages. That's all that stuff on the left panel again. Left panel, left panel. Right panel, of course, most of that is hidden. so. You don't see anything. Filter feed. Here's how it works. You start off with one box. You can press control, C T R L, control, and you can click all of those. You don't have to do one at a time. Like down here, I do, I click the bottom one, press shift, or click the bottom one, scroll to the top, press shift, then click the top one, and then it'll highlight all of them. You can do the same thing here and then click control and then click the ones you want to show and then you can hide minimize or the other two I don't usually do those and again hide and then boom once you do that you save say okay and then when you roll back it's gonna all be all different of course opera has to show out so let's ignore opera and go ahead and go to my chromes yes there's two chromes there's Chrome, Chromium, which is a beta, and then there's regular Chrome, which is regular. Alright, so let's do the same thing. We're going to do it again. So, first we got to go to their Facebook. Their Facebook. You click Chrome. Then you click um, Continue down at the bottom. Install, install and boom now it's installed you can also go to your extensions go to your extensions and as you can see it would be right here this one that doesn't have a highlight is the um, the version that's straight from the website while this one is the version that is straight from going down here to get more extensions typing in better Facebook you don't have to do one word and then you find this one the one with the most users not that one not that one this one by Matt 
and it'll be right there. It's the same version. <clears throat> anyway, let's continue. Because it's starting to get long winded. <clears throat> Let me type in this one. Alright, so now. How easy is it to set up Facebook? I'm just do it right now. I'm not even gonna say it. And this is how it's gonna be for you when you do it. Well, maybe not that fast. Again, I already have a um a hover preview thing, so you don't have to do that one, or else you'll have two images pop up, which could be annoying. Make sure you like them. Right, and boom, that's set up. And let's do the final steps again. Float, control panel, stretch the layout, and freeze the bars. Did I already hide my stuff? Nope. Right, so I'm gonna show you hiding it. Do like that. Pick the ones you want. You add the filter. Do like that. Press shift. Hide. Hide. If you don't press hide, it's, you might lose the information from it. Press save. Good to go. You can press reload here. You can press reload up there. Doesn't matter. And now, it'll look different. Look at that. Look how it stretches. I don't have a color background. I guess that one doesn't work very well. So let's pick one that works. I know that works. I know that one works. So there you go. Now you got the nice color. All right. So as you can see, it's very easy. Hopefully this video won't wasn't too long for you, and hopefully you guys will enjoy blowing your friends' mind when they peek over your shoulder at your Facebook. You'll be like, oh yeah, look at my feet, look, look. And they'll, they'll look and go, wow, that's custom. So yeah, it's easy. It's so easy that I do it all the time. Oh, let's make a note. If you have someone else sign in on their account, and then you sign back in on yours, the information from your sign-in might not save. Because a whole nother sign in is going to cause this whole thing to reset. So you might want to make a note of that. If you let someone use your computer for a second, you might want to try and get them to use a different browser or something. You know, because, you know I'm just saying. Last thing you want is to lose your settings, which was so, so easy to set up. So easy. Look at that. I'm almost done. I don't hide pokes like I get poked all the time or something, I, I don't. <laughs> well, just in case someone wants to poke me, just in case. Don't poke me, please don't. <sighs> I asked for it, didn't I? Alright. Of course. Float. Freeze. Stretch. Wait, wait, I wasn't done, but that's okay. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mention this too. When you're using this, every once in a while when you pop up on Facebook, you'll get a nice little message from him. He wants you to donate. That's all I'm saying. He wants you to donate. I'm not going to make any other comments on that. He wants you to donate. He wants money. I want money too. He wants money. I want money. We all want money. So donate via PayPal. If you feel that way, go ahead and do it. You can donate me via PayPal. Um, I can leave you that that email so you can send me some money. Yeah, via PayPal. Pay a pal. You can call me pal. Pay me. <clears throat> All right. And I think that's about it. We've stretched Facebook. We've done everything. We've customized. We did it all. We we, we did it. Good job. So now even you, the person who thinks, Oh, I can't use computer. I don't know how to do anything. You can do it. 
that you've done it. Good job. And if you have any problems or any questions, repeat this over again. You'll probably pick it up. If you still have problems, contact him. Let me go to um, their, their, the, their page. Let me go to their like page. There it is. The local business, apparently. You go to Better Facebook, so that's Better FB. That's www.facebook.com backslash Better FB. If you have any questions or comments or want to just be like, I love this thing, I love it so much, I love it like a chocolate cake. You know, you just write on the wall. He accepts most comments and stuff like that. There's already 5,000 people that like it from all over the world. So just make comment, do what you want, it's fine. All right. One more thing. Yeah, you, you remember um, the Jackie Chan cartoon? Well, anyway, um, there's one more thing. I'm editing this video right this second. And there's one more thing I need to mention about Better Facebook. There's been some changes. There we go. There's been a few changes, so I just wanted to make a note of those changes. And I'll bring the camera in. Don't worry, don't worry. Let's see if I can find those changes, though. <clears throat> okay, let's see. We Get really close, get really close. All right, this is version 5.3 now. So the one before was 5.0 for the video. And then this part is 5.3 now. And who knows what it'll be next month, for the next month. He, he, keeps, he keeps up with it because Facebook keeps changing. So he keeps it changing as well. One of the changes is you can rerun the guide that's on the popular thing. You can rerun it from there. Oh, yeah, this one's good. Um, one of the big changes was now you can add a X box on the things on the right side. So if you want to make them disappear, you don't have to go into options and find the thing and click to hide. You can just go right over here, click it, and it'll give you a prompt. And you say yes, and you click it, and now it's gone, and it won't return again. Um, other than that... That's the only other thing I wanted to mention, and I didn't have to zoom in either. All right, now I can play this sound bite. I am done. Get right out. Peace. Peace. Um, another change. Another change was he added. Uh, where is it?